include everything. Shout out to our sponsor, Gear Candy. If you're looking for high quality 4K tech reviews, go to youtube.com slash gear candy. The link is also in the description below. All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about ES6. I did a couple of courses and uh, did a little bit of research, watched some videos. I kind of picked out what I thought was most important and what I and kind of got rid of some of the other stuff, kind of the practical stuff they actually use as a JavaScript developer. One of the new things with ES6 is the const and let variables. Uh, to talk about what that is, the uh, way that variables work, for instance, we'll have our example one here, and we'll set this equal to Dylan. The way that uh, variables work is it works on what's called the function scope versus the block scope. That's really the main difference. Now, what does that mean to someone who's not super knowledgeable at JavaScript? It means that if we have a function, and we'll call it um, uh, test, where within here we have our variable example one that we're going to pass into here. If we go ahead and do if true, just a simple if statement, and we say uh, var example one is equal to my last name instead of my first, when we console log it out here, this will actually, uh, when we console log example one, it's gonna output exam example one here, it's gonna output Israel. Now, if we do the same thing within the bo block scope, You'll go ahead and see that it's gonna be, let's go ahead and do this and we'll see our console here. No, oh, we have to call it, excuse me. So let's go ahead and just call our function real quick. Save it. And you'll see that it's putting out Israel and Israel both times. Now, this isn't exact, this isn't how you may think this would work. But what's happening is because this deals on the function level, it's assuming that these are still the same variable thus it's assigning it when in reality what we want to do is just output this here in this scope and that would be block scope variables var deals with the function scope meaning everything within your function bracket can be reset if it has the same name now if we change this to let and this to let you'll see right here what's happening is now it puts israel which is the first console log and then dylan the reason for this is that deals with let's deal with the block scope and what that basically means is it deals with the most inward uh, brackets here or the the brackets that are so if we have an if statement the let that takes place within there is where it kind of gets its scope that's the main difference now you can switch all your console all your variables and all your lets over uh, you can switch all your vars to lets if you want and that seems to kind of be the general uh, flow going forward now what what we've talked about let and we've talked about var and that's really all there is to it for those two but what is it uh, with this const so const we'll go ahead and we'll give uh, our example one one more time we'll set it equal to Dylan now what happens if we clear this and then we, we console dot log out example one this is obviously gonna put out Dylan like so now what happens if we want to go ahead and reset example one to my last name? What's uh, you'll see that we're getting an error. The reason for this is you're not, you can't. It's read only. Uh, this is kind of the the a quick way of seeing this. You can't re. You can't really reset cons, uh, constant variables. Now there is a caveat to this. So for instance, I can't reset this to five or any, any other thing. However, if our example here was, let's say, an object, this works also for arrays, but let's say we have an object called name, and we'll go ahead and set it to Dylan, and instead of actually outputting example one, uh, we'll go example one dot name. So I guess we could output the object as well. Let's output the object. So you'll see right now we, we're getting an entire, the object is there, but let's say we just wanted to change a single key value pair within the uh, const of the const variable we could do that that we can do and we'll do example one dot name and we'll set this equal to Israel like so let's go ahead and save it and you'll see now our object comes out with my last name now like I said we could also do this with objects where 
uh, or with arrays rather, because uh, arrays are really just an object at the end of the day. But let's say we have one, two, and three. And let's say that we actually wanted to do example one, zero, and we're gonna go ahead and set that to zero. Say that, you can do that. You can also add things to the array as well. So maybe we do example one, uh, index three, and that's equal to one. So we should get zero, two, three, one. Now that's really all you have to know about var, const, and let. Const, it kind of gives you the, the, the idea that yeah, you can't change it unless it's an array or a object, you can change certain properties of it. But like, let's, let's say we wanted to reset the whole item to uh, Dylan, this we would not be able to do. We can, we can mutate the array or mutate the object and change the values in them, but we can't just change the entire data structure and we can't change the on these more primitive data types. It, we can't change those values as well. So for instance, we can't change our string to another string. But that's all we need to know about const, let, and, con, and var. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you're interested in coding bootcamp, check out devmountain.com where housing is included in your price of tuition. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and support me on Patreon. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.